have tended to go to one area if you like, exhibits of old Corvettes, uh, dinosaur exhibits and museums. When it comes to art museum, what I tend to go to is impressionist art. And what I hope to do today is to tell you a little bit about the history of impressionism, why it existed, and also give you examples from some of the masters. I'll start out with key roots. There are others, but these are the key ones. First of all, romanticism. This was grew as a reaction to the classic style that you've seen in churches and everything for hundreds of years. Ukiyo-e from Japan. That means from the floating world. It was woodblock wood wood art that was circulated for the masses in Japan. It is two-dimensional. There are a couple of other aspects we'll get to and I'll show you an example of it. And also realism. Realistic paintings with an eye on the past and also about life. Example of realism. This is the Gleaners by Millet. Pretty obvious why it's called realism. Very clear picture of what's going on. You know exactly what's happening. The people who are harvesting are prominent in the picture. The space in the background is secondary to the primary figures there, right up there. Romanticism. This is the Haywang, which is the Haywang by Constable. Kind of a romantic looking picture in my mind. One of my favorites. I love this painting. A lot of space, blue sky, reflection off the water, and the man hauling his hay in his Haywang. Kind of a romantic type picture. And lastly, Ukiyoi. Very popular in Japan. It got wide circulation in Europe. Van Gogh owned dozens of them. The pictures are two dimensional, oftentimes very small main characters. These are a little larger. I want to show the color of the people there. Sometimes perspective is often good. What they've done to show three dimensions is rotate the planes one side or the other, showing three dimensions without showing shadows. That's other good paintings. Some of that influenced the impression of the also. Part of the slide is chopped off. The key impressionists, you know, the top of the slide is chopped off, I'm sorry. Edward Manet, Claude Monet, Camille Pissarro, Auguste Manoir, and Edgar Degas. Those were the primary Impressionists in Europe. There were also many Impressionists, including William Merritt Chase. Impression Sunrise by Monet. This is one of the first Impressionist exhibits that was shown in 1874. look at it, you don't really see detail. You see, you get an impression of what's going on. There's no, you have to interpret a little bit what's going on there. To me, that's fascinating. When it went on display, one critic, it did not go over well for the public, one critic said, the impression, wallpaper is in its embryonic state is more finished. From there on, this genre got the name Impressionism. The origin of the name. <coughs> the goals of the Impressionists, they wanted to depict temporary life, contemporary life in nature. They didn't have their eye on the past like we saw with some of the other painting styles. The viewers look and feel differently about the subject. When I look at a painting, you may feel differently about it. Things aren't as clear. And as a result, the truth about the subject is made relative to the viewer. 
there are pictures mostly focused on movement of light and color. They also rejected the State Academy's approval system of paintings suitable for public consumption. They were not allowed to display their paintings for quite a few years. Eventually, they formed their own exhibit in 1874 and displayed their art for public consumption. An American painter, Merritt, Japanese bootblock friend. The subject to me looks very American because she's wearing a Japanese kimono and looking at Japanese paintings, the ukiyo influence. <coughs> Pizarro, the harvest. Lines are is clear cut, and a lot of the people, the images aren't quite in focus. The fields and the grass, the short brush strokes. A lot of space. The gleaners you saw, the main characters took up a lot of the space. And it's current day for them. Before the race by Degas. Again, you can't see the expressions on the faces. The lines are fuzzy. He leaves it to you to interpret what's going on in detail. Renoir. One of the aspects, one of the things that Impressions tried to do was to play, was depict everyday scenes, what's going on in public that day. Crowd scenes. You never saw this in classical paintings. And they're everyday people. They're not wealthy or people that have been commissioned by others to do portraits. Post-Impressionism, sometimes they were exhibited along with or shortly after, but later some critics or art organizations saw a difference in artists like Van Gogh's Cezanne Gauguin. And they labeled it post-impressionism. The difference is post-impressionists relied a lot on their own style, focused on their own style, more than conforming to a general style the way the other impressionists had. But they still maintained some of the aspects of impressionism. More emotional, short brush strokes all over the place. It gives the painting some vibrancy, an emotional presentation. And as you know from what seeing other Van Gogh paintings, that's typical of this style. Cezanne. Form structures with blocks of color. Oftentimes nature, not so much portraits. If you see the other Cezanne paintings, they all look similar to this. Not a lot of detail, as with other as impressionism is or tends to be. Go again. Bright colors, blocks of color again. If you like bright colors, pastoral scenes. Again, not really well defined characters and scenes. I'll leave you with an impressionist painting by Manet. Music in the Tuyer. This is a garden near Paris. Large crowd of people, you can hardly see expressions on many of their faces are almost a blur. The object is to get an impression. When you first, when you first look at something, that's the impression you get. I have a couple of Manet paintings in you know, the volume that Linda mentioned in the back. Two of them are by Manet. They're compared with a classical work. Met with a thunderstorm of criticism, 1863-1865. The woman that posed for them was Manet's favorite model. And the key
key difference, the key the reason why it met with such storm in public opinion is that the subject is looking right at the viewer. 